In this video, we're going to work with two new concepts. One is working with a vertex. When you work with a vertex, you define each point in a shape, every place where lines change directions. So I've sort of drawn a star-ish shape here. The other thing I want to introduce is the concepts of variables. We have been arbitrarily assigning a certain number of pixels to each square on our graph paper. A variable is something that points to a specific named location in memory, and it can vary or change, which is why it's called a variable. So you'll notice that I have and defined a variable called square, which is representing each of the squares here. It's an int, which means it's an integer, which means that it has to be a whole number. So I have a, a variable that can only hold integers, and I've set it to 15. I've set the size of my screen to 800 by 800, and I've set an initial xy coordinate to integers of x equals 300 and y equals 500, which will give me roughly the center point of my star. Then I define each vertex with x and y coordinates that are x plus however many squares they are away. One square away, five squares away, 14 squares away, so it's 14 times square. So I have everything defined in its relationship to x, which I simply counted. How many up? How many over? So this is x plus 1, because plus goes to the right, minus goes to the left y minus 14, because this is my initial y placement, and if you are going negative minus 14, you are going up, with y if you are going positive, you are going down. So I went through and put in my list of coordinates, which are a little hard to read. I do have some of these listed as 4.5, because they sort of showed in the middle, but since I declared them as an integer, I just rounded to the nearest whole number, so I think I made that one a 5. So I went clockwise, so it tells me I'm starting at the top of the star and moving in a clockwise direction. So this is point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5, point 0.6, and I could actually put comments after here to say which points they were if it would help me. So this is my first point. This is the last one, which would be right here, which I didn't actually draw it, I just counted here. And that's my plan for this. I've given it an initial integer value for my x and y coordinates with 300 and 500, and an initial integer value of a square equaling 15. So if I run this, it gives me a large star that starts at the 300, 500 x, y location. So it's over 3 and down 500. Let's try changing some of these. I can make the star smaller by getting rid of the one and making it this it only five pixels. So a square is now five pixels. And I named them squares so that you could see each of these squares are representing one unit to me. So if it's five pixels instead of 15 pixels, I'm gonna leave it in the same XY location, but it should be much smaller. I can also change the initial placement. This should move it more towards the top left corner. I can even make it go off the page. And this is what's going to ultimately turn into animation for us. Because we can cha change the position and just redraw something. We'll also later get into the concept of reusing code. I'm going to do that now by doing a copy and paste, and I can change my x and y coordinates. Now, I don't have to declare them again as an integer. I can just redefine them right here. So I can type square equals 7, and that will redefine that, and I can have x equals 400, 
and y equals 600. And we should be able to put two stars on the screen. So I'm going to put the code out there. I want you to play with it and hand in the finished product. You can just copy and paste from mine like I just did. But I want you to add so you have four or five stars on yours by copying them and changing those initial values, just like I did. I actually want to make this one a little bit bigger here. And so I can just modify that and play with it again. So by using variables to control how you are changing sizes, you can make multiple stars of different sizes in different locations without recoding anything, just by using copy and paste. When we move forward in programming and learn some new concepts, there will be some easier ways to accomplish the same thing. But for right now, you can copy and paste and change your variables at each one. So you're going to hand in, copy and paste my code, change the variables, square x and y, so that you get five stars all showing on screen at the same time. If you need to, you can make the size larger.